All right, now how this one works is a, uh, I don't want to say more complex or tricky because it's not, it just maybe takes some more thinking and that's what we're here to do, that's why you're watching, okay? So we're going to think, again, uh, we have a 90 degree triangle, same reason we can use Pythagorean theorem and Sokotoa. So why don't we start with uh, Sokotoa, okay? So I've got uh, a 60 and a 30 here. I've already pre-checked it out here. Sine of 60, let, let's do sine here, okay? Sine of 60 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always one, because we're, we're always referring to the unit circle when we're creating our ratios. So that's a one. All right, let's see here. Uh, so 0.8 and, and opposite side here is unknown, we'll call it x, so we'll call it x. So I've got 0 0.8660 equals x over one, or just x. Um, okay, same as before. This is not precise, so it's good, but not good enough, okay? And, and if at all chances you don't have to use decimals, don't use them, please. Um, okay, so let's try Pythagorean theorem. Okay, well we have, a, a, here's our theorem. Um, there's side A, side B, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, we know that's one squared, but these are still unknown. We have two variables and one solved. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't get any further than that. That's an impasse. We can't get any further than that. So we say, how on earth did they do this? Um, well, this is where we're going to get creative. Uh, just like, check this out here. If I say 2 equals 1 plus 1, I mean, easy, right? I can likewise say, um, I, can, I can do that, right? I can, I can put something in the equation that wasn't there before and keep it true, right? Because uh, 8 is the same as 8. So the equation is still true, okay? So I'm trying to think, of, we, can, we can change things around, change the look while keeping it true. That's, that's what I'm getting at here because we're going to do that to this triangle. So here's our triangle, okay? Check this out. 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 30 degrees, okay? I'm going to make a copy of this triangle. If it's like this, I'm going to go copy it over like that. And what I'm going to get here is 60 degrees, 90 degrees, and 30 degrees. Now, you might say, aha, this looks familiar to another grade 9 concept. This here is an equilateral triangle. 60, 60, and a total of 60, okay? Where am I going with this? You will see in a second, okay? So all it is is just combining um, combining our, uh, our, our triangles that I, I, we developed here. Now, what was our hypotenuse? Our hypotenuse was right here, was one. It's, this, it's, the, it's, the, the, it's the one because we're on the unit circle. Okay, so if that's one on this triangle, and we flip it, we know that this side must also be 1. But because, because we have an equilateral triangle, that means the sides are all equal to one another. So that means if, if this side is 1, this side is 1, and this side is 1 from here to here. Okay? Here is the brilliance. We cut the sucker right in half. What that means is the distance from here to here is one half, and the distance from there to there is one half. What does that mean for our triangle? It means this. We now have two sides. That's one half, and that is our hypotenuse of one. So let's take it back up here and finish solving this. Uh, you can always hit pause or rewind to watch this stuff again. Um, I just need the space. Uh, okay, so we know this is one half now. Now we're going to try Pythagorean theorem. We know this is right, but not precise enough. Let's try Pythagorean theorem. Um, okay, so we started with our our formula here. Uh, what that becomes is uh, half. Well, I'll use, I'll keep a as a, so we don't know what it is. A squared plus uh, one half squared equals c squared, so it's one squared. I'm going to show all the steps because I, when I was in school, I used to struggle with this. Maybe somebody out there needs all the steps to be shown. 
Um, this is a squared plus, um, so one half, uh, one over two, one over two equals, that's just one, a squared equals one, oops, no, a squared plus one quarter equals one, well, I'm going to clearly subtract a quarter from both sides. Maybe I'm just mumbling here. Um, a squared equals three quarters. Ah, we want a, not a squared, so here we go. Square root, square root. A equals root three over, well, root four, what that really is the same as root three over the, the number two by itself. So if this is A, let's stick it back on our triangle here. Root three over two. Wow, look at that. We just finished this again, again using grade nine principles. And now we're talking about grade 12 stuff. So that's perfect. We now have all three sides of our triangle. I'm gonna erase this here, make a little summary here. Our two triangle ratios then, if this is our 30, 60, 90, we have root three over two, and one half, and one, okay? These are the sides that you, you can, doesn't matter if, if you have this thing in the quadrant like this, you know, it's gonna be one root three over two and one half, okay? It, it doesn't matter where this triangle is in your unit circle here, okay? That's going to be one half, okay? That's the, the distance. We'll, I'll talk about signage later, okay? Don't worry about that. For now, there's your one triangle, and here's your second triangle. Bada bing, bada boom. 45, 45, what was it again? Root 2 over 2 is what it was, right? 1, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. If you can stick these things, ingrain them into your mind for the rest of your life, it will make your lives very easy. But... Now that you know where they come from, you can always throw that in your back pocket in case you, in case you forget. Okay? All right. Next video, we'll uh, get a little further into, into detail.